Hey, what's poppin', boys? Take two. Hey guys, Finn Phantom here. Welcome back to another video, and yes, it's another review video, but it is not a Lego review. Woohoo! Possibly more views, yay! Sorry, though. Uh, <clears throat> right, so, today, you read the title. Actually, you know, I'm kind of tired of saying that. You read the title? I've probably said that a million times on my channel. Anyway, I'm getting off topic, so yes. I will be reviewing that new, uh, untamed raptor fingerling toy. Uh, I'll explain more about it once we actually get to the review part, but, uh, yeah, well... There's not much else to say, so I guess we will get to that review part. Okay, guys, let's do this. Okay, so this is, uh... Oh, hold on. Uh, I shall lift the camera a little higher. Or something. Hold on. Okay, that's better. So, here we go. This is the, uh, Untamed Raptor by Wowie. Uh, so if you didn't know... There are these toys called fingerlings, which are like little baby monkeys, or sloths, or unicorns that hang on your finger. And recently they decided to make dinosaur versions, so they have the new untamed fingerlings. They have the T-Rexes, and they have these, uh, Velociraptors. Uh, um, normally I don't like featherless Velociraptors, but in this case, I think it's kind of cool. I uh, know, kind of weird coming from me, but whatever. So, let's, uh, I was going to do an unboxing part of the video, but, uh, I, I, I couldn't wait, really. And I could have recorded earlier, but my camera was not available. Anyway, let's turn this dude on. Uh, well, hmm, maybe, okay, I'll start with something else. I will start with the detailing, even though that's not a very important part. I love the detailing on this thing. The coloration is very nice. There's four different colorations, and I chose, like, the fierce variant. It's orange eyes. Very nice texturing on here. Uh, cool paint. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's turn it on. Oh this thing is awesome. So, uh... Jeez, I turned it off for a second there. Sorry, guys. So. What? This thing is cool. It's like a little animatronic that sits on your finger. Okay, let me put it on my finger. I mean, well, it might be hard for the camera to see that. So I'm... Oh, dear. So I might just have him down here for most of the review. Um, so... This guy actually has, uh, two sensors in his head, so you can, he can, like, feel it when you pet him. So, I guess you can pet him like this, and make little sounds. Yeah, there he goes. I've been playing with this guy for about a week, so I've figured out most of the things. Um, if you do, like, stroke his snout, he will, he, yeah, he'll purr like that. Very cute. But he does hate being tapped on the nose. As you can see there. He does have another sensor in the back of his head, which triggers different sound sounds and reactions. My favorite sound that he makes is, I think when you do something in the back sensor, he, like, makes... He makes the same sound effect that the Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park does. If I can maybe get him to do it on camera, that'd be nice. I don't think he wants to cooperate. Oh, well, no, it's, it's not going to cooperate. That. Uh, oh, well. Jeez, he doesn't like it. Maybe if I tap him. Okay, I give up. But just, if you know what sound the source makes, you know what sound I'm talking about. So, yes, this thing's very cool. Um, uh, a few other things you could do. So, if you hold, like, t just touch both sensors right here, 
he farts. And that, like, I'm gonna do it again. It's amazing. It's like the best part. Oh, if you hold those sensors while holding them upside down, he burps. Uh, you're also supposed. If you want to calm him down, you can like lay. Him, you can lay him down for a nap. It works. He makes snoring sounds, but doesn't close his eyes all the time. Uh, I had a little trouble with the napping part. Uh, also, if you want to make him do stuff without touching him, you can clap once. Or twice. And it triggers different alert calls. Um, points of articulation are the tail. You can move the tail around as if you want. You can hang him upside down. Apparently he doesn't like it. Yeah, he seems kind of calm about it now. Obviously the head moves. Um, but I wouldn't recommend moving it too much, like, on your own, because you might break it, <laughs> or something. Um, and not really anything else is articulate, articulated. The arms can move a little, but that's probably just to adjust to different sized fingers. Uh, yeah, so that, that's pretty much all I can say about this, this little guy. Um, overall, this little dude is awesome. Uh, like, th apparently this guy's name is, uh, his name is, I think it's, uh, F Fierce? No, no, Stealth. His name is Stealth, but I call him Rupert, because Rupert is the best name for an inaccurate dinosaur. Oh, yeah. Um, sorry. Yeah, yeah, he's nodding his head. No, like, jeez, man. Um, aw. He's really cute. Like, uh, I like how he is a lot like the raptors from Jurassic Park. Um, I'm kind of like Chris Pratt now because I have my own baby raptor that I can train and it likes me. There it goes! Yes, it did it on camera, the Dilophosaurus sound. Yeah, okay, so, <clears throat> yes, overall, this is a great toy, and I would highly recommend getting one, and it's actually- <laughs> Robert, please. You, you, it's a lot of fun for just $15, uh, so, yeah. Bad things I would have to say about him, there's hardly anything, um, after a while, the jaw did get a little loose, but it's not that bad. And when I shake him... I don't know if you can hear... Sorry! By the way, they don't like being shaked. Uh, anyway, so there's something in him rattling. I don't know if... Like, something's loose, or that's supposed to... Is, or if that's normal. It just, it just kind of bothers me. But, um... Other than that, I don't really have any complaints for this little dude. He runs on, like, those tiny little batteries that are, like, little circles, which I have lots of, so that's convenient. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a great deal for just $15. I expected one of these to be, like, $20, but it's $5 cheaper, so. <coughs> so, yeah. That will have to conclude my review. So, overall, I give this dude, um, four, uh... And nine tenths stars. I think Wowie did a great job designing this toy. So thumbs up for this toy. I like it. So yeah. Uh, bye guys. Fin Phantom is out. Oh, and one more thing. Alan.